On this storm-soaked and portentously thunderous weekend, I have made the decision to dismantle my X-Car. To make some sweet upgrades. When I first assembled my robot a year and a half ago, I made this inexpensive MDF T-slot wasteboard. I'll link to that video down in the description, and it has served me very well, despite what a certain segment of YouTube insisted down in the comments. But we've learned not to listen to a certain segment of YouTube, haven't we? However, as my experience with the X-Carve has grown, I've decided it's time for some improvements. This gorgeous slab of aluminum I got from a place called OSH Cut. They cut this exactly to my specifications using lasers. No kidding. Pew pew. I'm going to add a link to OSH Cut down in the video description. They've got a website anybody can order through. They even cut all these little pilot holes for me exactly where I specified, ready for me to resize and tap as needed. Listen to a little talking heads while I'm doing this. Wow, that is the easiest tap I have ever cut. It's amazing what a high quality tap can do. Plus this stuff, I got this stuff for a job a couple of weeks ago, makes all the difference. I'm gonna try something I have never tried before, power tapping. This is how you break tabs, kids, but I've got 30 of these to do, plus more to come. So, could be worth a shot. Oh, I gotta do another one. <laughs> ah, this has changed my life. Fast tapping. <laughs> I have never had fun before tapping holes.
I'm going to use this new self-centering bit I just got to mark the hole positions for the T-Track. This bit is not the correct size, but I can start it with this and then go back and drill them out to the right diameter. For more tapping... Luckily, I had a spare bit of the correct size, so I can finish drilling the rest of these out. Last one. Check this out. So Luke over at TBD CNC heard I was making some upgrades, so he sent me a bunch of his custom X-Carve accessories to try out, including his new super grade Z-axis kit. It has linear bearings, which should be nice and stiff. And to take advantage of all that extra tasty Z height I'm gonna have, he sent me some extended stiffeners and risers. And look at this, he even engraved my logo in them. How cool is that? Of course, I can't help but, you know, customize these just a little bit myself. So I cut all of my pieces correctly on the first try, probably for the first time in my life, and I slid all of these T-slot nuts miraculously into all the correct positions, and then realized I was supposed to countersink all of these mounting holes. Now normally I'd pick this thing back up again and then lay it down into the shot for continuity, but screw that, this thing's heavy. All right, this is gonna take a while, so I'm just gonna show you a close-up. There, let that represent 20 holes. I've got one T-slot nut that has slid out of position. It's over here somewhere, but this top plate and the extrusion, all aluminum. That nut is steel, so all I gotta do is take this magnet. There you go.
You may be asking, why didn't I get black extrusion to match the rest of it? Well, the price difference between the silver and the black was significant enough for me to disregard my obsessive tendencies, but this one rail in the middle being a different color than the rest of it, even though it's going to be underneath and I'll never see it, I'll know it's there and it will haunt me forever. That is good and solid. How appropriate that this project is being bookended by rain. Clearly I didn't do this all in one day. Now, this is a gorgeous machine. I know I am going to love having all this extra Z height. And now, whenever I have to replace the wasteboard, all I have to do is unscrew these, cut five more, and slap them on here. I don't have to remove the entire bed, which is not only a pain, but it risks throwing the entire machine out of alignment. If you would like to see updates and extra footage, which should soon include the ridiculous way I took the warp out of this aluminum plate, just follow that Patreon link down in the video description. You'll not only help keep this channel on the tubes, but you'll get access to past and future behind the scenes content, including an extended version of this build. And huge thanks again to TBD CNC, OSH Cut, and Phil Johnson at Designs by Phil, who provided the original concept for this bed. I will provide links to all of them down in the description. Please give them a visit. Thank you for watching, and see you soon.